welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Stephanie, your life coach and physician. And in this video, I really want to talk about how to use your vacation to realign. So I know many of us have gone on vacations this summer and we're coming back rejuvenated and just restored after having these wonderful vacations. But how can we take that energy and that momentum and have it last longer than just a couple of weeks? I don't know about you, but I know for me, typically when I come back from vacation, I'm still on a high for about a week, maybe a week and a half. And then as the realities of the routine set in, that high is gone and spent. But I don't want it to be that way. And what I discovered on this vacation is that it does not have to be this way that we can actually use what we experience and what we learn about ourselves, how we connect to our most authentic selves in our real life when we return from vacation. And when we do that, we can make vacay mode last 24 seven, 365, right? Um, so these are some of the tips that I wanted to share. So three things that I became very aware of after this vacation, is that I really do not like watching television as much as I thought I did. I use it as a distraction from the stress and fatigue that I experience from working and overworking. The second thing I learned is that being in nature and being a surrounded by beauty and experiencing beauty, watching the sunset, walking on a beautiful beach, looking at the ocean, looking at the trees and the foliages and the flowers and the children and the beautiful people. Um, I was around so many beautiful people on vacation. I went to Martha's Vineyard and in August in Martha's Vineyard, there are so many people, especially African-Americans that come to the vineyard and they express all of their different affinities. There's groups of people who are here for book signings, groups of people who are here for their sororities and their fraternities that are here for um, the Black Film Festival. That So, so many things going on, so many positive things going on and so many beautiful books and artwork and people and uh, historical places to look at. Those things, that natural beauty, beauty in itself is a natural mood enhancer. And then the third thing that I really realized is that I am okay if my plans don't work out, right? I don't have to have a vice grip on my plans. And then when they don't work out, I don't have to be completely despondent and in despair. I had plenty of plans that did not work out, but everything worked out well anyway. So the tips that I have and that I'm carrying forward into my routine everyday life so that I can live in vacay mode 24 seven is number one, when I am fatigued and exhausted and stressed, become consciously aware of that and say, oh, I wanna eat that chocolate because I'm fatigued and stressed. Oh, I wanna watch television or veg out because I'm fatigued and stressed. So the first thing is to become consciously aware of it. And then the second thing, once I'm consciously aware of it, I have a choice. And I can choose how do I adjust so that I don't get to this point of exhaustion? Do I need to work fewer shifts? Do I need to work shorter shifts? Do I need to have a break where I can take a walking break? What is it that I need to do to manage myself so I don't get to the point of exhaustion and stress that I'm looking for distractions and ways to like self-soothe? And then I can choose, well, how would I like to um, how would I like to give myself what it is that I truly need? Because what I truly need is stress relief and rest and restoration and rejuvenation. And watching television is not necessarily going to give me that. And eating chocolate is definitely not going to give me that. So that's one thing. If I can be conscious of when I'm reaching for things because of stress and exhaustion, uh, ask myself what I really need and give myself what I truly need. I can stay in vacay mode 24 seven. The second thing is just to connect with beauty every single day, every single day, whether that is having my feet touch the earth. There's something about having your, your feet touch the earth, whether that's going outside for a walk, looking at flowers, looking at trees, whether that's looking at art, 
even on, you know, in a book, whether that's reading a book, listening to beautiful music, uh, whatever it is that you find beautiful, experience beauty every single day. And then the third tip is just to relinquish control. <laughs> Be a little bit flexible. When things don't work out the way you planned, just know that they will still work out exactly the way they should. And don't stress about it. Okay, I'm excited to see what this new adventure is about to unfold because it's not what I planned, but it's just a surprise adventure and I get to go along for the ride. How exciting is that? So those are some tips where you can keep that feeling that you have in vacay where you have the joy and you have the ease and the flow and the decreased stress and you're being your most authentic self even after you come back from vacation with those three easy tips. That's what I'm doing and um, it's working so far. And so I wanted to share that with you also. Have a great rest of the summer and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.